What's good everybody, it's TV Sound System and all it is Selector Hype live and direct once again It's the summer evening, nearly enough the last part of the summer And I'm back in the city of London where big things are going on With a lot of the sound systems around the London city From North, East, South and West They're all going on with big things, there are a lot of events taking place right now And that's making make it my business to come back down Watch out for the previous video that's coming with the man himself, Chalice Naya. But I definitely had to come down again. Thanks going out to Chalice for giving us this space again. And I'm here with... How am I going to describe this sound? I'm going to say... Kind of underrated. I'd like to hear a lot more from them. Especially their dub collection and the way how they voice and cut dubs. And I think... Most or probably the majority of the UK would say yeah this sound right here can do the damage when it is necessary live and direct inside the building we have got foundation sound chop away I say bless up man bless up, bless up man. first of all thanks for taking the time out right now yes man um where do we start bad sound from London which part of London is foundation based and, and give us a little bit of a background on the sound okay so um based in East London mm -hmm. Uh, late size. Okay. Yeah, East London. Um, background, this year, 30 years in the business. Wow. Okay. Yeah. A long time. Mm -hmm. You know, but I wouldn't say 30 years in clashing or anything like that. It's just music business. Okay, yeah, as yeah, a yeah, whole. yeah. Mm -hmm. like that. So, um, yeah, started in 1994. Um, as usual, most sounds from them era. Mm -hmm. Parties, things like that. Blues dances mm -hmm. and them kind of things. And what was the vibes like back in them 90s there? To be honest, those, those are the best vibes. Mm -hmm. Those are the best times. Comparing to now, yeah, yeah, the nineties, yeah, early two thousands. Yeah, yeah, those are the and, best. And I mean, like early early nineties was 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 a really prime time for the dancehall scene. Yeah. Um. So why you come up with a name as Foundation, which sounds more of a, 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 a more of a solid kind of. It's not like a jiggy name, for, yeah, considering yeah. you came out in the 90s, it's not really that kind of, it's a, it's a solid name. I mean, that, why, that, why, that, why the name? That name, it was just given to us mm -hmm. as a crew, there's a crew of us. Yeah. Uh, there's about five of us. Um, well, we we'll start, yeah, it's about three of us when we first started, but mm -hmm. it, it was given to us by one of the members' father still. Okay. So he just said foundation and it, it just stuck. I don't mm -hmm. know, I don't know why. It wasn't nothing to do with foundation dub plates. <laughs> At the time, it was just the name Foundation. Okay. And 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 from then, yeah. Just and was it was it? Um, did you start off with was it just records or did, you, did was it a case of like yo, boom, gonna build a sound and then just take no, it from there? No, it's just like from school. Remember, so it's original. Like you're at school, mm -hmm. you get into music, you're learning about music, and you just grow to love music. So it was vinyl, DJing. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when I first started. I thought I was the baddest thing, you know? <laughs> but obviously, clanging and, yeah, and, and yeah. them thing there. So it's just the growth, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah, we just started DJing, started doing, like I said, the blues dances, mm. house parties, and then gradually due to the circuit dances. Yeah. We were like big in the circuit. Uh -huh. We was everywhere, all over London. Yeah. And all the top dances. And um, prior to that, mm -hmm. um, when you was coming out, who was the sound um, around the ends? Who was you like, Again, saying? It, yeah. it wasn't really so much sounds because we wasn't really looking at it as a sound team. Mm -hmm. We were just looking at it as like crew. It was crews. There's all these crews. Like, in fact, it was Foundation Crew mm -hmm. before Foundation Sound. Okay. So, you know, later on, you know, police started targeting crews. Mm. So we had to drop the crew bit. And then, yeah. Okay. Kept the, still Foundation, but. Mm -hmm. We started to push out the sound, we're getting mature and pushing out the sound. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it, DJ, it was loads of DJs, they were like circuit DJs. Mm -hmm. So the kind of sound that we was, was a versatile sound. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't predominantly reggae, it was everything. You okay. name it, we played it, party, vibes. Yeah. So I wouldn't just say there was dance or select, selectors them time there. It was a mixture of people. Mm -hmm. So we were working with people like G Crew. Mm -hmm. Uh, Girl Flex okay. and things like that. Yeah. Um, cover up, City Lock. Those are people. Okay. Loads of How long did it take for you to start mm -hmm. and then just be a force to be reckoned with? Because sometimes mm -hmm. you got some sounds, it takes them forever. Oh, now okay, yeah. I'm boss. Yeah, <laughs> and then the sounds where you just hit the ground running mm -hmm. and they're gone. And I think that's, that's kind of like what you mm -hmm. definitely must have achieved in the 90s. But how long did it take to be a household name where it was like, um, yeah? How long would it take? I mean, 
how do I look at myself? I, do I look at myself as a household name? Mm -hmm. I think you. Yeah, maybe. Well, yeah, maybe. I, I mean, from I, the outside looking in, I would say yes. Okay, but I, again, like because of the growth, again, and what we've been doing, it's just been like the, the, the most thing I would say is like if you're true to your craft, consistent, mm -hmm. and that's what we, we well, I say we have been doing. Mm -hmm. Foundations being consistent from them time to now never took a break mm -hmm. and always putting on dances and pushing at yourself so mm -hmm. we, we were just growing and growing and growing mm -hmm. and, and, and the members because obviously you're here to represent but who are the rest of the members and, and what roles do they do, do they, right. do as, they it, play? as it stands mm -hmm. it's just me oh wow yeah yeah solo it's solo solo and oh. how long has it been like that <sighs> well those who those who follow the journey is like it's there's been i would say the late how can I put it? If I was to put a year to it, maybe 2015, mm. I would say that's when the kind of the crew members kind of got slowly. People come and go, mm -hmm. things like that. So from then time now, it was just me carrying it. I I was working with one or two people, mm -hmm. but it, it just it just wasn't working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so at the minute it's, it's you as in sound, MC, select, mix, everything. Apart from I, me, I have a I do have a mic man. Mm -hmm. But mainly, when you see me, it's mainly me doing it if it's not me and him working. So yeah. Jerry Dan is like a, a mic man. For okay, still, cool. Yeah. How do you find it? Because I, when I was playing sound, mm -hmm. I, uh, it was just, I had the, obviously I had the crew yeah, and the, the team, crew, but it yeah. was me was playing, emceeing, mixing, mm -hmm. having to present myself and do a good Hard. job at it. How, how do you find it? Because there's a lot of many people mm -hmm. who can master that. Mm -hmm. And I always take my hats off to anybody who I see doing it by themselves. And anybody who wants to say, oh, mm -hmm. You can't do this and this and yeah, that. Yeah. You go and try it. Because it's not an easy thing. It's, so how do you it, find it? It's definitely not an easy thing. How do I find it? Now, if, if, if you ask me, like you're asking me now, mm. it, it's, it's something I have to do. You know, so I put down my sound mm -hmm. or, or I just continue. So it's what I have to do and I'm mm -hmm. doing it. And I'm, I, I, it's hard mm -hmm. trying to do everything. Remember, we have a full sound system. Yeah. So we're trying to run the sound system run a studio as well, yeah. you know, okay. run a studio. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, just, it's hard. MCing and, and selecting, it's hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard, it's hard, I ain't gonna lie. And, and like, where you at now, you're happy like with what Foundation is doing right now? Um, I've got to go like back and forth for the thing because it's probably time you're like reasoning right about yeah, it now. No, so, it probably will so, go back and forth because mm -hmm. there's so much different avenues in a sense, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But um, am I happy the way it is now? Uh, I'm content, mm -hmm. I'm content. I wouldn't say I'm happy. I'm never happy because mm -hmm. I, I want the best of everything. Yeah. So, so I'm always wanting better than what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I just, I'm, I'm just content. I'm yeah, just man. Content. So, like I said, it's massive TV sound system foundation inside the building. Let's talk UK Rumble. Okay. Because that was the first we're time. We're gonna jump there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, we're gonna go. We're gonna go can, back and forth. I, I <laughs> but the build up for that, mm. um, I, I'm gonna be super honest. There's a few audios that I heard. Yeah. From foundation, a few little clips them, um, and um. I said to myself, and the, there was a word, and, and, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of people saying, Foundation Sound only cut new songs on old rhythms. That's why they're called okay. Foundation. Okay. So the Mavados that you was cutting were on some serious rhythm. Mm -hmm. you, was, you was playing a different set of songs. Is that true to, like, is it a case of, that's, is that how you um, mm -hmm. cut your dub plates and present them? No. Let's, let's be honest, the, the better rhythms are the foundation rhythms. True. The old, you know, jammies rhythms, whatever rhythms, you know, they're, they're the better rhythms. Mm -hmm. The newer say rhythms are not really carrying a swing. Mm -hmm. It's proven, mm -hmm. you know? So I feel like every sound of this era is playing on foundation rhythms. Mm -hmm. The older sounds, yes, they've done that. And we're just carrying the swing, really, because those are the rhythms that, mm. that carry weight. So it's not necessarily that something that you said, okay, no. this is what we're going to do. You no. just prefer... Yeah, if, if, if a rhythm's right and I, and I like it, I'm gonna work with it. And I think, again, that mm. shows it's, it's quite versatile because mm. there's a lot of sounds them who have no direction in terms of cutting dubs, they will just yeah. follow back a next sound yeah. or oh, try yeah. something that doesn't actually well, well, work. I, well, if you've noticed, most of the rhythms that I try to tend to use is rhythms that other people don't use. Mm -hmm. I wanna be different, I wanna separate myself. How do you find you know? your rhythms? 
Because you got some sick ones out there still. <laughs> some, some some rhythms are, are, are trial and error. They, they, they work and, and sometimes they don't work. Mm -hmm. It can go over people's head. Yeah. Because they just want to hear the, the same old answer rhythm. Which, which goes back same, to yeah. the UK rumble thing. Right. Because right. for me, I was in there and I was like, it was, I'm not going to say it was unfair, mm. but it was like a lot of music went over people's heads. Okay. And I don't think a lot of people then pre what was going on. It was just, I felt like, yo, blood, give them a chance, I, 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 like I, I, a little bit, like, you know what I mean? Because it yeah, was just yeah, like, okay. there wasn't having it. And okay. I don't know, because it, it was. So, what, what, what round are you, are, you, are you. From the intro? From the intro? Yeah. From the intro round, I thought. Alright, alright, you see from the intro, that first round? Their Movados were yeah. all on new rhythms. Uh -huh. That wasn't an old, that yeah, was yeah, a yeah, new yeah. rhythm. Mm -hmm. So I was trying something different there. I feel the new rhythm went over people's head. Yeah. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. And if it was more on like an answer rhythm or something like heavenless or something, yeah. they probably would have relate more. Mm -hmm. Massive, we're outside. We're in the city of London. Expect yeah. the sirens, expect the motorbikes, expect holy for craziness, but mm -hmm. we're up inside the building. So yeah, um, preparation for the UK. Um, UK, UK Rumble. Rumble. Um, how how did you prepare yourself to go into it, and what did you think about the whole event on a on a whole? Uh, this story has never been told. Exclusives round here. I keep no, no, no. I, I have to say this because <laughs> it's like more time when you see a sound, you just feel like when you see what you see, I, I eat that in it. Mm. Like nah, I'm not gonna go on for them or ah, they're whack. He's not a good mic man. Yeah. And this and that. Those who don't know, that's the second time I've ever touched the mic. Wow. And the first time was two weeks before. <laughs> I, I literally didn't plan to go that way. Okay. But it happened that way. You know, I had a mic man and... Didn't work didn't out. Didn't work out. Mm. And I said to Valerie, yo, my man let me down still, but I mean, I still, I'm like, I try things still. Mm -hmm. And that's the, f nervous man. I was nervous. Mm -hmm. But that's the f second time, or officially, I would say that's the first time on a stage for me to touch wow. the microphone and select at the same that's time. That's insane, man. Never, ever. For, a, for an event that big, yeah. is, 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 a, is, is credit to you, man, because mm -hmm. bringing them no, touches there, that. and, and it, it's, the, it's one of the hardest, hardest things. And mm -hmm. then, like it says, by yourself as well. Yeah. Um, how did you, um, in, regardless of the outcome, mm -hmm. your performance and how you felt, because I, like, like I said, I left there and I was like, I like how we played, it's just like, it didn't it gravitate on the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, how do you feel? How do you feel it went? Because it was your second I time. I feel, I feel, um, I was kind of in a different class. When I, when I say a different class, I mean like, I was on my own, a one man bad. Mm -hmm. If you look at everybody else, team, 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 yep. team. Yeah. Rah, rah, yeah, rah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Five man, five man. And, and there's a lot of energy going. Mm -hmm. And then, then it's just it's me with this one man is trying to select. And, and go first. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for real. And I broke yeah, down on the yeah, motorway yeah, 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 and yeah. got there just as it's about to start. My gosh, if it you know what I'm saying? Worse. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't going for me. Uh -huh. I said, Valerie, me not nah make it. He said, no, just try and come. I said, all right, all right. I had to wait for the AA. Uh -huh. Got there just as the clash was about to start. Mm -hmm. Had my controller ready to load up. I said, no, nah, no, nah, you can't set up your team. Oh, and then man. I pick a number, me first. Fresh I mean, I think, I think but you live and learn. You know what I mean? It was like, a learning curve, and, and it, it was an experience, and, and to be honest, I enjoyed the experience, and mm -hmm. I give thanks for Valerie for, for, the, for the experience. Yeah, man. Is that, is that something that you would want to go back in again, if, that, if the opportunity Definitely. came? Definitely, yes, because the, the involvement from then till now, mm -hmm. you know, obviously I'm, 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 t I'm talking a talker phone, so, you know, and I'm handling the business, mm -hmm. so, yeah, I would do it again. You still get nervous when you're playing out? Every time. Same here. Every I keep telling time. you, I always been talking about, about Nerves and there's some mm. money say, oh, I don't really get no nerves. Yeah. Fam, every time, doesn't matter where I'm playing, you yeah. know. Sometimes I could be at a wedding or a christening and mm -hmm. I'm just there yeah, and I'm yeah. thinking, I think nerves are good doing here. Yeah. And the then, just, yeah, play a first song and I can say the first words that come out of my mind and then, yeah. then my mind yeah. just goes like, like blank yeah. and I just go full in. Is that kind of like the same kind of situation with you? It is, it is uh, to this day. Mm -hmm. You know, the, and it, I feel that's adrenaline, the, the, the blood is, yeah, is yeah, yeah. And, and once you get through the first couple of songs, you're good. Mm -hmm. You just get in your mold. Yeah. You know? When when was it the time where you thought, okay, I'm gonna transition and go heavily into the dub plating? Um I started going heavily in the dub plate from 2007. Mm -hmm. I was cutting one or two dub plates before, but 
2007-2008, um, me and Marlon, Marlon mm -hmm. Bashman, we started bringing tunes. Mm -hmm. And we said, like, there's not a lot of clashes going on, so we're going to start a clashing yeah. weekly, clashing team. So then I started to go heavily, heavily, mm -hmm. and just started voicing. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of artist-wise, can you remember the first dub plays um, that you that you you set out to to, to voice and to just kind of like set your standard? It, it was it was a it was a package deal. Always them, starts them, with a package yeah, deal, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> them ties there was like send a look at a look at two bills to yard yeah. with the links there, man, and the man buy a crate of Guinness and you just grab the artist them. And we got a bag load about fifteen tune. Mm -hmm. And so like there were I can't remember all of them, but I know Errol Dunkley was there, Sugar Miner, and. Yeah. Then kind of tunes. Some tunes I look and I think, oh, what is? Mm -hmm. But today they're, they're golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golden, yeah. Crazy, you know? man, crazy. Mm -hmm. And then you just continue the ball going, yeah. rolling from there. Yeah. It's a good insight to how, where you've been, because like I said, it's foundation sound. And I've, I've had the opportunity to listen to a few more audios from you. And again, okay. the sound system. Yeah. Love the look of the sound system. When I seen the light box, I was like, yeah. Because right. you know, I ain't mm -hmm. even going to lie, man. You know them LED ones from yeah. the back in the days? Uh -huh. Yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of tired. Now. Yeah, it would be tired. Now, when I seen that one, I was like, "Yeah, right, just super impressed, just, man." This is a this is a plug as well. Those those light boxes mm -hmm. is my design. Everybody that's got them, I build them. Okay. From scratch. So it's called Lightbox, which I literally designed them. For and that's that's like your company that you have. And that's how long, how long have you been company? doing that? I've been doing that. How long have I been doing that? I don't know. Only a few years. Mm -hmm. okay. Four years coming so up was there. that a case of just you wanted a, a light box and I couldn't find the one that you wanted? I wanted a light box, couldn't find one, just designed one, put it out and I said, you know what, I'm going to put this out to everybody. Wow. And everybody that's got one, yeah. Yeah, they look fire, it. man. Yeah. As soon as I seen that, I was like, yeah, mm. that's how it's supposed to look for modern day yeah. times of a yeah. sound system. Sometimes you put it in the wrong place. Yeah. I'm going to say. Oh, are <laughs> I you saw, me? Yeah. So I can't remember where I, I seen it. Well, I've seen it somewhere. It depends it was on which one. I think it was right in front. Well, on my DJ booth, I've got a big one in the booth. Yeah. And then on the rack, I've got it in the rack. Oh, you got two. And then I've, no, I got. And then in, the, in my speaker box, I got it right in my tweeter box. Right okay, I ain't seen the speaker box. Yeah. Oh, I have yeah. yeah send me a link of that. We can put it in there. We can put it in there. Mm -hmm. Um, away from the sound system, just a touch. Yeah. Uh, you, you said studio. Yeah. So, fingers in everything at the moment, right now. From day one. Um, what's the studio vibes like? What's the studio settings? What is it? Engineering, right, right. voicing? I do everything. Mm -hmm. I run the studio, I own the studio, mm -hmm. I engineer the studio. I cut dubs for everybody around the world. Mm -hmm. So much. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing that for just like, just under 20 years. So was that... I'm just, I'm just going to try and time lapse it. So um, was you cutting dubs for other people before you was cutting for yourself? Um, I did well. Now, well, it's always cutting for myself. Mm -hmm. That would be first and foremost. Is you cut for yourself. I mm -hmm. built the studio because I was tired of going to studios and, and bleaching it till five in the morning, and mm -hmm. you're getting a real deal, you know. So I set up my own studio, and um, yeah, it was the links was there. I was cutting dubs for myself, mm -hmm. but then you know I'm a kind person. I started cutting for everybody. Mm -hmm. you know? I always was worried about another sound cutting my dubs. Mm -hmm. I thought, somebody's going to know what I got, man. Yeah, but I, I feel <laughs> you know what I mean? There, when there, the running comes that. in now, it's going to be mm. like, I need even speech in the clash now. You say, hey, bro, you get, you all get, of your children, what are you happening? I'm me against them. And it's like, that's pressure because it's facts. Yeah. And worse is worse than any sound clash is facts, you know. True, true, so, true. So, but it, no, no, not one sound is going to cut their whole box with, with you. Yeah, yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're going to pick and choose who they want to cut still. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, Is there any sounds that, that said, yo, mm -hmm. Chopper, voice this upon this rhythm, and it comes and you think, oh, would I piece of that you one? Know, there's, 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 <laughs> that's always the case, but I'm a, I'm a, I keep it real. If I hear something, or if I voice something for somebody, mm -hmm. and, I, and I really like it, I will never copy it. Okay. I'll have to think out of the box. That's why if, you, if you've heard, yeah, both, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of creativity. Fully really understand. So it's like, I will hear that and I have to come one better than that. Mm -hmm. You understand? So yeah, I will never pirate a thing. That's why anyone yeah. can cut with me. The trust is there, man. And and even with the dub plate thing, which mm. is a good thing um, to be cutting for so many sounds around the world. Mm. Um, how hectic can that be? Because oh. sometimes mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, somebody asked me to voice a song for them before. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you no 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 names or anything. But I said, all right, cool. I'll get you the song. The next day, yo, song done. 
That's just bridging. Pressure. Yeah. Wait, man. Yeah, yeah. It got to the point, mm. I think he was about four days. Okay. He goes, yo, run back my money. Yeah. I says, yo, run back his money. And I said, I ain't never doing that again. Mm. Because some people don't even understand. Say, like artists it. might be on tour, so and so and so and so. Do, so do you get pressures like that? So or, the difference or with that, like that The difference with that. I'm, I, correct me if I'm wrong. That's like a man, you're cutting a dub for somebody, but then you're going to somebody else. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. it's like middleman vibes. Right. Yeah. I am a direct vibes. Okay. The artist is direct with me. Mm -hmm. Now, I do do sessions like that, mm -hmm. but they're like for far and few people. But when I'm doing it for the masses, for so much people, mm. I'm literally engineer. If I said they're here today, they are here today. Mm -hmm. And I'm voicing them, I'm engineering them. And I, I could actually swear that I'm the quickest return when it comes to dubs. Nice. I'll ask anybody. Okay. If I within the hour you get that dub. Right. <laughs> that quick. Hundred <laughs> percent. Because that's I, super quick, man. There's, there's no time to mess about. I will record that dub, mix and master, and send it over mm -hmm. straight away onto the next job. Mm -hmm. Super, super cool that you're doing it in so efficiently it as well. To. And I feel like that, that that is very important as well for the trust of people. You know, um, people know that I work with a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of artists around me and, and, and you have to be efficient. Who are the artists that you, when you get requested to voice them, you're going to be like, yeah, this is going to be a vibe, this one. Is there any particular artist then where you just know, you're going to vibes with every time you're in the studio with them? Al Campbell, I'm always vibes. Mm -hmm. Can I just say something as well? <laughs> off, on camera, I was going to say off camera. Right. On camera. Mm -hmm. So I made a post okay. looking for Al Campbell. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, everybody gave me the run around. So and so, so and so. You want the dub? I can get you the dub. I said, I didn't want the dub. I just want to get a link with Al Campbell. I want to mm -hmm. do something, something, something. Yeah. You called me and he says, you need Al Campbell? I goes, yeah. And then you says, here's his number. You go and deal with him. Make him know, say blah, blah, blah. I was like, rah. He didn't even, he didn't even be the middleman to say and try and go around the oh, thing. Right. He was just like, yo, here, yeah. there's his number. Tell him so and so yeah. called you. Sort no, no, that, that, that was like, I wouldn't say it's a one off, mm -hmm. but that's something that don't happen regular. Mm -hmm. But I did that for a reason. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I did it for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I did okay. it for a reason. <laughs> okay. That's another story. Well, that's something else. <laughs> <laughs> but, but super Friends appreciate it. Want to test the foundation, they have to go. Yes, we send them to hell. Yeah. Foundation rule. Ah, you look a chatterbox sound boy, you fool. Foundation rule. Real champion sound. Whoa, whoa, every day you laba 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 just like a big fat girl. Run up your mouth and I'm talking about the champion sound. Put your pocket where your hands is. You're gonna die tonight in the lawn. Foundation rule. Boop, ba. Oh, yeah. Kill them, chopper. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> but, but super appreciate that still. So mm -hmm. Al Campbell is definitely one of them. Yeah, Al Campbell, um, Lucci, mm -hmm. great vibes. Um, Frankie Paul when he was alive and Sugar Miner. And yeah. them, them man used to come there. I'm talking, we're talking 30s, 40s, 50s. I'm out of dub place and still going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like that's the amount of work I get at one time mm -hmm. for them man there still, you know? If tomorrow, you had one option, mm. you either play sound, carry on making your light boxes to make it to be a, a massive company, uh -huh. um, do studio, or just cut dogs for other people. Which one? Which one would you want to do the most? Or what's your favourite in order? Which, which you like doing and least doing? Like doing. To be honest, it's the light box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I enjoy getting my hands gritty like creating i've created something mm -hmm. with my hands literally a component you know so i prefer that studio work is studio work mm -hmm. it's good but you prefer to do light box and play sound yeah what no 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 not to play then play sound but uh -huh. i mean like it's you're up, saying it's if up I'm, there. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Take professionally, okay yeah. Mm -hmm. is, is the light box i'd like to take that to a bigger scale what's the turnaround on the light box 
We're going to put all the information up and, and show some pictures yeah, of that. So if yeah, anybody's definitely. interested, you just fo just follow the links them. Mm -hmm. But what's your turnaround on a on a uh, live? Box? I'll be honest. I need to advertise it more. I need to put it out there. More. Mm -hmm. You know, things like this is good. You know, yeah, I can push yeah, yeah, it out there. But to be honest, I'm not really trying to push it push it as much where I should because mm -hmm. I've been concentrating with a lot of sound man and doing custom lights for them. Mm -hmm. So the turnaround is, 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 is it's alright, it's alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Not as quick as your dub plate. Nah, <laughs> Not nah, an hour. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah. Well, I mean, even, even, even like the, the, the sessions right now, I would say dub plate sessions are slowing down mm -hmm. because of the cost. You know, the, these artists are charging quite a lot of money and, mm -hmm. and they don't see it to the side of as a sound man, you know? That we're, we're taking our hard earned money to, to buy these. these. Mm -hmm. Half of these people that are buying these dub plates, they're not even putting it to any use. It's mm -hmm. just because they love it, Yeah, you know? But it's, it's getting expensive, man. Oh, that was going to be like my, my next thing, the, 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 co the cost of dub plates now. Do you think it's feasible for artists to be charging mm -hmm. that kind of money for certain dub plates? I'm hearing dub plates are Oh, from as little as a few hundred pound running into thousands now. Every artist is is, is entitled to charge what they want. Mm. Is it realistically reliable? Is it, is, is it not really no, mm -hmm. on some of these prices? But I would say the foundation artists are, are very reasonable to work with, and mm -hmm. what they ask for is is, is reasonable. Mm -hmm. It's only it's so much of the newer artists that that overpricing. Mm -hmm. And then, and how is your dub play cutting? Is it? How do you go about cutting? Is it like you get a batch every now and then, or is it just a, a consistent chuckle of just voice and songs yeah, as, a, it's as like a the, the, time? I ain't gonna lie, the dub box is, is, is big at the moment. So mm. it's like, you know, cutting dubs, it's not as heavy as it used to be. Mm -hmm. So if you hear something, you know, then, then yeah, you like it, you just go and get that dub there. Mm. But it's not a consistent, there isn't a lot of dances going on for clashes mm. and things like that. And you know, Again, every, single, every time you finish off your sentence, it's my next question. Okay. And that's going into the promotional side of things. You were saying with, you were doing with Marlin, which was um, bring, your, bring tune. your tune and defend your sound. Yeah. Um, that went on for a decent while, didn't it? Good while. Um, good, what was it? From nine, eight, 2008 to 13. The last one, 13, where, yeah, we, we over out, out grew the, the space that we was using. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a little sample, Platinum Cartel Foundation, yeah. uh, Roblox. Yeah. There's so much people outside, we had to just close. That was no kind of way. the last one still. When mm. I say the last one, but we took a couple of years uh, and we did some outside events. Sound, we took okay. it to a sound system team. Mm -hmm. So we did like uh, Bring Your Tune Sound System Edition. Okay. Free sound string up. Uh -huh. like that. So yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, man. That's, that's current. That's, that's like look. last year. Okay, yeah, yeah. So what's it, so in terms of promoting, mm. like you says, there isn't that many events that's taking place right now. What's it? What's the vibe like in London in terms of venues and 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 putting on events? Venue, venues are scarce. Venues are scarce. Mm. Um, I don't know how the Roots man do it, but a lot of the Roots sounds, they 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 can find these venues where they can take in sound system and, mm -hmm. and play all night. But you know, for us, I don't know. We we seem to get a fight. There isn't, it's far and do you know why that me. is? Because I'm always trying to figure out why mm -hmm. sound systems get a fight. I mean, we are, even though it's the clashing and we go really hard and everything, yeah. I can't tell unless I've seen trouble in a, in a sound clash. That's right, there, there's no trouble in our events. And I, just, I can't understand why we always seem to get a fight, we can't find the venues, and like you said, and I made this point the other day now, mm. them dub sounds and the root sound. I'm seeing them and uh, so and so here, there, yeah. ram! Yeah. Woo, 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 bass. And I'm right, thinking, right, yo, right, I'm gonna right. get away with this right. thing. So I just don't know, I don't know, it's something where we maybe have to look into, mm. maybe work together with them. But then again, I'm gonna have some few interviews with some of the roots, man, who sometimes okay. seem to be in their own space that's and right. don't wanna cross over, even though everybody's talking about unity and this and all that. But that's something that maybe we can um, speak on. In terms of future, um, plans for foundation where it is right now I mean like you might as well say the year's done now mm -hmm. um, how's your year been <sighs> yeah it's been all right it's been okay you know like I said it's far and few dances in it so mm -hmm. any highlights this year it's not even over yet my highlight will be <laughs> in Christmas December okay because I have a, I, I've got a nice clash coming up mm -hmm. with um Melaton Okay. One on one. Oh wow. Yeah. So who runs East? Cause we're both from East London still. See. So yeah, that 
that Christmas time, that's a good highlight for me. Is that is, is, that, is a promo right already or is that... It's AB that... out today. Oh, okay. This is, this is, wow. this is actually official. Okay. You know, We're going to have to get, have to get Melo Tone in, in the yeah. bowl. Good sound as well. Yeah. Full of sound. vibes. Good sound. Um, mm -hmm. What made you... What, how did the connection come up to, for, for it to be Melo Tone? Well, like I said, we're both from East London. Mm. So, um, you know, we've, we've been in the circuit. We've been doing our thing for a, a, a good while. But we've never really faced off officially. So I feel, I just said to him, look, let's come together and do this. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but we're making it happen this year. Yeah. Full on, full on sound clash, cup, trophy, anything, cup. or is it? Yep. Yeah? Yep, trophy. Looks like I'm going to have to be coming down to East for that yeah, one because yeah. I've got super ratings from Melo Tone, like yourself. Yeah. That's going to be, mm -hmm. that's going to be a battle and a half, man. Yeah, yeah Looking yeah, forward yeah. to that that's one, cool, definitely. Cool, yeah, cool. Is there anything else that's going on in the pipeline? Um, or future plans? I mean, away uh, from that clash there. In 28th of September, Mm -hmm. uh, SMB, uh, I do a promotion called um, Sound Trilogy. Okay. So that's a promotion that's been going on. Um, two sounds string up, mm -hmm. community hall, things like that. So um, that's coming up on September 28th. Okay. Me and SMB. Uh -huh. We're going head to head and things like that. So. One thing what I like about London mm -hmm. clashes, which I've noticed, and I, I think it might be something that should change, mm -hmm. is your clashes start early. Yeah. And I think that's a really good look because there's been clashes that start 1 a.m. in the morning yeah. and it's a trek just to get there. That's right, yeah. So, so for me, like, if I'm coming from Wolverhampton and I say I'm going to go to a dance in London and the dance don't start till 1 in the morning, mm. clash don't start till 1. Mm. That's a, it's a long journey to come, get there, stand up and wait for the clash to start. I think clashes, especially like the likes of um, yourself with Melotone, mm. These are not dances, these are events That's right. where we should be able to come. We, we know what we're getting, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, clashing starting at nine, finishing at two, I yeah. think that's a good look, man. Yeah, well, I mean, we've done clashes like that. Mm, that yeah, the, yeah. The tubbies, me and tubbies. Yeah. You know, that was an early, early clash. We finished at two. Mm -hmm. you know? But yeah, I feel, I feel like more clashes is going that way because of the lack of venues and the time frame we've yeah. in these venues. Mm -hmm. Most of these venues are, uh, we, we can only go into two, mm -hmm. so they're, they're, these, these, they're becoming more earlier. The times, you know. You think Sound Clash is dying in the UK? Never, man. No, man. It's just, it's just underground. It, it can't die. Mm -hmm. You know, we still got the likes of one or two young sounds that are pushing out. Like, mm. it, 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 no, I don't think it's not dying. It could die though. And the reason saying that is the cost of these these dark places. You, mm -hmm. know? you know, it's get it. it uh, they, you have to look at the, the younger youths nowadays to spend money to build sound system and buy dub plates is mm -hmm. just not feasible for them. Mm -hmm. So and unless these artists realise these tax free money that they're getting to calm down mm -hmm. and let the, let the business uh, evolve mm -hmm. and, and grow, they're going to kill it. Can you see that changing because you're in the thick of it mm -hmm. to see what the, the artists are charging, yeah. you can see who's buying dubs, you, you know right. what I mean? You, so yeah. how, is it steady right now, or do you think it's it's going to change for the better? It could change because, because like I said, there is there's far and few much sessions going on. It's slowing down, and there's not a lot of sound spending money on that place. So um, it's slowing down, and I think one or two artists are realizing, you know, they're not getting any younger. They're not putting out any new music, mm -hmm. but yet these these are their old um, catalog. They can live off, mm -hmm. you know. So try charge a reasonable price and, and we can continue you know everybody's okay. happy they're happy we're happy mm -hmm. you know super interesting mm -hmm. to talk to you because i know that i'm going to be coming down here on the regular so this won't be just a one-off interview next mm -hmm. time i come down we'll be talking about something else um i always ask the sound man them who's the top five artists them that you're listening to right now doesn't matter if it's young or old okay. or but just in general what you listen to top who's five. the top five that you would say that you're listening to um I listen, like I said, I listen to everybody. Mm -hmm. But um, top five, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, any where, genre, where, where, any where, genre, where, any, any, any reggae, style. Reggae, because it's reggae and dancehall. Mm -hmm. It'd be Barry Salmon, Buju. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, who, who can I say? Busy carrying the swing. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not so much of a cartel fan, but I guess cartel's carrying the swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not really a cartel fan. So. Killer's always there, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, I think I'd go more now, because Shango, yeah. King Shango, Fireman's yeah, always, there. always there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Best, best artist to voice on dub. If I was to buy dub, if, if I had to buy dub, I'd have the 
maddest Capleton yeah, catalog, yeah, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Trust me. If there was an artist that you could like focus on and be like, yeah, mm -hmm. Foundation, I play the most of. Would, would there be an artist? Well, is well, there an artist? There is an artist. Uh, no sound can't play. I, I tell you this now for the tape. No sound can't play Frankie Paul like me. Wow. Hey, no sound can't that's play a heavy, Al Campbell that's a, like me. That's a heavy, that's yeah. a heavy thing to say on camera, you know, Reggie. Tell you, <laughs> goes around the world, you know. Yeah, but it's been it's been told. I, I, I'm waiting for someone to even like. Cause supposed to have the world of Frankie still. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, and V Rocket as well. And V Rocket. Yeah. But okay, me can test them for that. Mm -hmm. Alright then. But then Al, when it comes to Al Campbell, no sound can't play Al Campbell. One of my favorite artists. Yeah. One of my favorite artists. He's just singing. His vocals mm -hmm. are just on a, his on voice a super doesn't change. level, man. Doesn't yeah, change. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely crazy. Well, what can I say? Chop out, big up yourself. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for taking the time out. People remember the light box situation. We're going to put all that info. Really wanting to put that to graph, you know, fam. So really, they're super impressive, okay, man. Okay. Really, really. Yeah, I'll give you all the details, man. So that's going to be a good thing. I'm going to be coming down here in December. Mm. Melotone versus Foundation. Officially. The East. Who runs the East? Saddle to the East. Saddle that's to the right. East business. Yeah. Going down. Mm. Good luck for that one. I know it's going to be a crazy yeah. promo. Melotone We're definitely dead, going to be. Man. We're Melotone <laughs> dead. We're going to get Melotone in here, so. <laughs> So we can answer or maybe try and get you guys together or we'll figure yeah. out something out. Yeah, like man. I'm definitely going to be definitely. up inside the building. Anybody that you want to big up before you're out? No, I'm going to big up the singer, Mandy. Mandy, I'm a singer, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm an engineer. Uh huh. Yeah, for the sound. Um, Jerry Dan and those, those who know Foundation Sound, Chopper Foundation Sound. Big up everybody, yeah? People, TV Sound System, you know, it's set to hype the sun. It's setting mm. in the city of London. Foundation sound, keep it locked, like, comment, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff without one. Peace. You see when Lady V are endorsed the one ya I be called the one ya non normal, the one ya seller. Foundation Sound International proudly present sound trilogy. The one ya name not chattings. Ibiscus Community Centre, Stratford, London, Saturday the 28th of September. Oh gosh, a two bad sound. But just to before me telling about the two bad sound, the one here is a 10 pound gate entry and the one here is a early settings, 6 till 12. Ladies, you're free before 8, so you now have no excuse, your place steady. A two great sound from out of London. We are talking about foundation sound. And we are talking about S and B. No chattings, not in a this. And you know when I bought this? Anything goes. So you know, say a full entertainment. Speech, music, performance, sound system, everything in a one. When Lady V endorsed this, this mean. You have to be there the 28th of September, Ibiscus Community Centre. No chattings. Sound trilogy. Be there. Boom.